So it's an age-old question, iPhone or Android? And it's still one even after testing the S21 Ultra, I still can't confidently answer. And really, that's a good thing because it's telling you that the lines are being blurred and the advancements in technology are getting so good that you can't say that one phone is particularly better than the other. Really, it comes down to personal preference. Now, if you've been with iPhone for a long time and it's all you really know, then that could be stopping you from even stepping into the Android ecosystem. And that's what Samsung is trying to fix today. And it's really to show iPhone users what they're missing or what they could be taking advantage of with iPhone. So they've developed an app for iOS that does just that. Let's get into it. So Samsung launched this app recently called iTest. It's a web app that gives you the full Android experience on an iPhone. It's essentially meant to give you this trial of Android, not necessarily the full thing. Think of it more like a demo rather than full functionality. You won't be able to do things like send text messages, but you will get a general feel of the Android ecosystem, which might be the only thing that's actually holding some people back from switching. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say, if you haven't seen it already, go back and check out my Galaxy S21 Ultra unboxing and review. They're both on the channel now, so if you haven't seen them, definitely go back and see that. Now let's get into this demo. So now downloading iTest is actually pretty easy and I'm gonna show you a screen recording on screen now. Simply, you're gonna to go to the Samsung iTest website and I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. And then it's gonna prompt you. So here you see Samsung iTest, you're just two taps away. All you have to do is hit the share icon and then you wanna hit add to home screen and just hit add at the top right. That's gonna put it directly on your home screen and you'll see now it's called Samsung iTest. Now let's take a look at it. So here we see you're about to get a little taste of Samsung without changing phones. We can't replicate every function, but you should quickly see that there's nothing daunting about switching to the other side. Watch out for text messages with hints on the best stuff to check out. So this is actually very similar to the experience that I had on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The home screen looks pretty much exactly the same, but as you can see, I'm here on an iPhone. So you can just swipe through here and it is very responsive. If we tap on the weather widget, it is gonna refresh that for us. And here we see our first text popping up. So it says, welcome to the other side, swipe up, down, left, right, see what everything does, tap on all the apps, make yourself at home. It's your phone after all. And you can see all of the different text messages here. And you're able to actually go through these fake conversations. And all those buttons at the bottom are actually gonna work. So hitting the search brings us to Samsung Galaxy S21. And if we go back, it just brings us to the home screen. Here's Galaxy Store. And we're actually able to preview all of that. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to download anything. We've got the gallery here, so you can see how all of that works. And you can even tap on them and slide through all of your photos. We've got Galaxy Wearable here. And I'm really surprised at how responsive all of this actually is. Galaxy Themes, so a big push here is that you're able to customize your home screen so you can see all of that here. We've got our phone. We've got more messages here, so one from generic friend just telling you to check out themes. And one from our friend Logan. Hi, I'm Logan Dodds, a registered plumber who's made a living filming my adventures. So who better to show you around your new Samsung camera? Once you're on a real Samsung, you'll be able to simply... Here we've got settings. Again, this looks exactly like what you would expect on the S21 Ultra. We've got Samsung Kids, which is a limited home screen. And again, this does come on Galaxy devices now. 
Samsung Health. This isn't actually pulling in all of your stats. Again, this is all just simulated. Smart Switch, so this is the way that you're able to pull your information from an iPhone to Android. You've got a game launcher, so you can see all of the apps that are available on Android. We've got email, social media, popular apps, and utilities. And if you swipe up, you can see the app drawer here. Again, this is all like much more responsive than I actually expected it to be. Let's see if we can actually customize any of this. So if I tap on a theme and apply, oh, it actually does work, that's cool. So it completely changes your home screen here based on whatever theme that you want. Let's try this one called Robot. And it all works flawlessly. There's something ironic about the idea that Android can run so flawlessly on an iPhone. And that's basically all it does. So just like I said, this is more of a demo than it is an actual real Android running on your iPhone. But it's still a great idea for those who want to learn more about what Android has to offer if they're used to iPhone or stuck on that ecosystem for a long period of time. So that's it for this walkthrough. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about iTest. Have you been able to try it out yourself yet? If not, check out that link in the description. While you're down there, remember to hit that like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.